You know, I've gone through a gut-wrenching, uh, thought-provoking process where I wrapped up that process by spending the last few weeks talking with my constituents. And my number one goal in making this decision was to reach a conclusion based on what I thought would be most likely to prevent Iran from achieving their nuclear weapons goals. And in weighing everything, all the information that I've had um, in front of me, I, I concluded that uh, the best thing to do is to vote in support of the Iran deal and make sure that we can put Iran years away from being a threshold nuclear state and ensure that we can more closely concentrate on their uh, terrorist activity. Uh, so I'll be casting my vote uh, to support the deal and, if necessary, sustain the president's veto. The Associated Press revealed that they had seen a document that would suggest that Iran, when it came to the military installation at Parchin, Iran would get to self-inspect. Right. And I had, the day, that story came out the day before I had an entire morning's worth of briefings, top secret briefings in the Situation Room. I walked in. You went to the Situation Room? I did. I, I've been, I was in the Situation Room probably 20 times over the last two years, from the beginning of the discussions about the preliminary agreement all the way through to two Fridays ago, uh, when that story came out. I brought that story into the Situation Room uh, with our, some of our intelligence officials who I can't obviously reveal who they were, put that story in front of them and I said, if this is true, mm -hmm. I am a no. I want you to clearly understand that you need to address this concern. And I, I was given probably the most thorough review that almost any member had access to uh, as far as what the actual process is for Iran to reveal their previous military di dimensions at Parchin, and I can say in no uncertain terms without revealing the details that they cannot self-inspect. They can't? Cannot. Okay. Absolutely cannot, and that the IAEA, and in fact, the head of the IAEA came out immediately, and they, they hardly ever comment, Jake, but the head of the IAEA said that that was absolutely not the case. It's an excruciatingly detailed process okay. that they will have to go through to certify, and they cannot self-inspect. We, we that was incredibly important to me. We only have about a minute left, but I mean, I want to address something that, that's very uh, clear to you, I know, in that there are a lot of constituents of yours. There are a lot of Jews who are going to say, you sold out Israel. And what are you going to say to them? You know, I'm the first Jewish woman to represent Florida in Congress. I I'm a Jewish mother, and I wrote an op-ed today that's uh, in the Miami Herald, my home, one of my hometown papers, uh, that talks about my Jewish heart. And how important this was to me, that as a Jewish mother, that we have a, a concept of Lador Vador from generation to generation. There's nothing more important to me as a Jew to ensure that Israel's existence is there throughout our generations. And I am confident that the process I've gone through to reach this decision is one that will ensure that Israel will be there forever. It is the homeland of my people. I'm an American citizen, and I believe fervently in protecting America's national security interests. And there is no way that we would be able to ensure that better than approving this deal and ensuring that Iran is not ever able to get access to nuclear weapons and that we can shift our focus with the rest of the world on going after their terrorist ambitions. And most importantly, I had the privilege of talking with President Obama last night, who assured me that as we move forward and discuss with Israel enha the enhanced security package that will absolutely be essential for us to provide to Israel, as well as ensure that we tighten the, our ability to enforce this deal, mm -hmm. that I'll be part of a group of members of Congress that will be working with him and his administration on that. That's critical for me.